everyone. Um, my name is Nidia B and I am coming to you from um, sunny Brussels. I am someone that has been really active in reading and implementing and just praising in life just for my own spiritual development over the years. I um, studied uh, political theory and philosophy and law and ethics and those kind of topics but I don't think that really matters today. What I want to talk about is the fact that this YouTube channel I decided to set up because I absolutely love reading and I can go anywhere from um, whether it be history all the way to um, romantic novels, um, Victorian novels, the classics, um, contemporary literature, crime and thil thrillers and also um, I absolutely just love uh, also what I call spiritual literature which covers a vast array of different authors and genres in itself, including from religious tones all the way to um, new age uh, philosophy. And I just thought today, my first video, I'd share with you three authors that I've absolutely loved. Please click like, share, notification, um, and leave a comment below if you like this video, if you have your thoughts on it. The question that I'm posing to you for this video is, um, which are the few authors that have um, or more have shaped your spiritual development. So please leave, leave their name and their, their books below. Um, I'm just going to share a few. There's going to be more to come. But these three I picked because I thought that there was an underlying theme that I could see amongst them that really focused on the connection between um, thoughts, feelings, emotions, and also physical aspects and how that actually materializes. There are other authors that do that as well, but these three um, came all around the same time in my life. And that was the really interesting thing over a course of a few years, I actually read um, these three authors and it just felt like there was a theme at that point in my life. And I thought for my first video, I would pick them. So again, just please leave a comment below of what you think. And if you have any suggestions or perhaps these three don't resonate with you at all, and there's um, other authors that you know you would like to, us to know about and hear about. Okay, so the first one is Byron Katie. This is a lady um, who has had tremendously inspired me. She has a website called The Work, and The Work looks at kind of like a framework for questioning one's thoughts. It's very simple, and the questions around our thoughts and whether or not you know our thoughts are true. But she does it in a very, it's simple, but it's done in a very um, meticulous manner because um, Byron Katie really emphasizes on how we might feel or um, behave depending on what that thought is eliciting. And this can be thoughts that, of course, that are hurting us and harming us all the way to what would it be if we change that thought. And um, what I love about Byron Katie is how very, in a very simple manner, all of her material, by the way, on um, her worksheets are available for free on her <clears throat> website, The Work. So I will link that below so you have direct access to it. But um, just so you're aware that, you know, she has a way of us being able to go through that. And um, I remember the first time I actually started doing the work and how I really became very connected to whether it be, I thought it would be, a, I don't know, a comment in a supermarket all the way to my own perceptions around my body, all the way to something that I've seen on TV or a conversation with a family member, how they just had this overwhelming effect on me and how Byron Katie is very, very good at kind of like underlying what that actually means in terms of um, my perception of the world. So yeah, I recommend, um, this is just one of her books. I'm actually talking about the author more, but it's just one of her books. The books here is, you know, Question Your Thinking, Change the World. Um, she's also done A Thousand Names for Joy. She's also done um, uh, I Need Your Love, Is That True? Those are some of her other works that I have, um, as well as uh, there's, there's, a, there's plenty more. So I'm gonna link her below and um, check her out. Great. So the next lady that I want to talk about here is um, another famous um, author, also from the 80s, as I recall, and um, or the 90s, maybe. Um, I need to check, actually, uh, when this was written. I'll just have a quick peek at it now. This was written, ah, it was written in the early 90s, so I stand corrected. Um, but this is Marion Williamson's A Return to Love, and it's her reflection on A Course in Miracles. 
what um, really astounded me about this author was how much she actually took the principles of A Course in Miracles and applied them in her life. When it comes to love, when it comes to work, the body, relationships. Um, and it was really astounding in the way that how um, she showed her own, her own, um, how her own, how can I put it? Sometimes it can be this feeling that we need to sort everything out ourselves and I need to just rely upon myself. There's no one else to rely upon. And she really goes into what it is to rely upon perhaps what we might call a higher power or a higher self or an inner self or, you know, that, that, that North camp compass. That's what I like to call it sometimes as well, where we just find a true inner self or a true um, guidance mechanism, which is always resolving for our highest good. And um, I think that Marion Williamson just took us, took us and her personal journey. But in the end, you know, it's just so beautiful because I'm drawn to it as well. And um, yeah, I really, really like that, that it's very um, humbling because she's very real about, you know, the struggles that it, ha it has been for her as well. And the other one I just want to go back to is actually quickly Byron Katie. Byron Katie herself suffered from depression for many years. Um, she went through some form of what I would call a spiritual awakening. Maybe you have another term for it in the desert. Um, so, you know, both of these women that I've just listed so far also talk about, you know, they have they had their struggles. And I just absolutely love that, that they begin from a place where they meet the reader where the reader might be as well. Okay, so the last author that I'm going to quickly discuss for this video is someone called Louise Hay. And I know many of you have heard of her. She is very famous. But why do I pick You Can Heal Your Life? Um, why do I pick this specific book? Because this specific book for me is kind of like um, the precursor to much of her other work. What I absolutely love about Louise Hay is her connection between emotions and thoughts and then our bodies and the effect it has and the illnesses that might happen. And this is very much drawing upon Eastern um, thought and Eastern philosophies, which I'm going to go into in other videos. Um, but I absolutely um, do delve into things such as um, Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, and um, the, the link and the interlinkages between how we feel is having then a subsequent effect on our bodies. And I personally have found so much scientific theory that does to an extent support this. I always believe you know we do need to go to a medical practitioner and to go to qualified persons absolutely i will never deny that but what i absolutely like as well is that this is more of a gentle reflection and what louise's hey personal journey is about is that when she first um, became very active in the 80s um, she worked with people who were very sick they had um, communicable diseases such as hiv she worked with them there was a lot of stigma around that and I really applaud her for breaking those barriers already in the 1980s. Many others did too. Um, I also applaud the fact that um, Louise Hay uh, was, um, you know, she, she faced a lot of rejection. And what she decided to do after that was that she went and she um, set up her own publication house, which is why we have Hay House. But that was um, partly due to the fact that many um, publishing houses shut their doors on her. And um, at the back of this book, I'm just gonna flick through it and I'm, hopefully you can see it now clearly if I just open it up there. What you can have sometimes is the listing of a condition and then actually what that actually might mean in the body and then an affirmation to go with it. And I just think that's beautiful. And I take this um, with an empowering spirit. I take this as something where I don't have to feel like a victim when something is even not well in with my body. I can do something about it. And of course, I do go to medical practitioners myself and I seek professional help always. But the reason why I wanted to talk about this book and come back with Louise Hay was because um, there's also a feeling that when, um, I always say when, when the doors are closed and I'm, you know, we're at home alone, um, there is also a need to have that feeling of empowerment within her affirmations, her life story, um, also how she um, herself questioned issues around forgiveness, anger, um, holding on to resentments, grudges, um, what belligerence means, what it means to, to, to cheat and so forth. Um, the fact that she goes into the depths of that and how it has an impact um, for me is commendable. It doesn't mean that, you know, 
we all have to be as white as snow. But for me, what is really important is that these authors talk about their own struggles and what they've done to help overcome them. And what I love about these three authors and the reason I think perhaps, you know, and now as I discuss this, I can go into it, is that I um, I picked them originally was that I have found myself, I've read a lot of authors and I still got, and, but these three are some of the authors, um, let's see if I can start that a little bit better so you can see it a little better. There you go. These three are authors where I found myself on several occasions, years later, just taking a nugget again of, of their thinking. I mean, I, 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 I really use their thinking, but there are times when words of the book still jump out me years later after reading them. And these three I read um, back in 2010, 2011, 2012, that period of my life. So it was so many years ago and yet so fundamental, helpful um, and crucial to my own spiritual growth and practices. Um, so tell me, who is it or which authors are there that have really influenced you? Perhaps it's at a certain period in your life. For me, it was, you know, around um, my late 20s when I really began to need um, support. Um, I think it's just a period of life where we do things like we can perhaps um, move house or move country. I moved country. Um, in my early 20s but you know we might move house move jobs um, perhaps the shyness of being out of university is over and I think for a lot of people men and women this is when they might go through a transition but that doesn't mean it's exclusive to that and I also really welcome talking to of course you know and hearing from people who who went through that transition perhaps in their teens or their 30s and 40s and they're still learning from it so of course it's not exclusive I just want to share something about you know where where we all go through in life um i will be talking about other books for sure i absolutely love the classics i also love contemporary literature what is current and very really you know hot topic i mean you can see margaret atwood's up on my shelf and i know she's bringing out something and a lot of people are talking about her upcoming sequel um to the handmaid's tale um and uh, well it's already been released but they're talking about it in terms of because she's already winning a lot of awards and being acknowledged for it. Um, so I personally love all different kinds of literature. I think there has a lot of depth and meaning to it. I personally also love non-fictional, uh, not just the spiritual literature, but I'm also a huge fan of um, non-fictional historical books. Um, so this is just kind of like a tip of the iceberg and I would love to hear from you and thank you for tuning in.